Buongiorno. Mr. Rossi. Allora, uh, lei parla italiano? Oh, Paolo inglese, if you don't mind. Peccate. La lingua d'italiano è la lingua degli artisti, è vero? Ma, uh, uh, that's cool. I have two paintings, a Da Vinci and a Saraceni. I need written documents of authentication for both. Eh? I'll pay you $40,000 for both. Yeah? Well, my company would charge $25,000 per painting. I'll pay you $40,000 for both. Benny? Are you an American, sir? You should stick to authenticating paintings. Mr. Rossi. I'm trying to get some information about the theft of La Tempesta. You were the one who was there. And the armor. Oh. Hey. You follow astrology? Can't say I do, no. You don't pay attention to the stars? A star is a star. Your Saraceni is authentic. Huh. Madonna with the arm winder. The Da Vinci. Is a forgery. <laughs> Joseph isn't in the finished picture, but he should be in the on the drawing. I couldn't find him. What? Are you telling me I spent six million dollars on a fake? Yeah. You did your work, take your money. Take your money. No, the painting isn't hot, because the academia thinks it has the real one. What's the hurry? If you're not interested. I want it. Mi dispiace. Per te, Giovanna. We want it. How much? Five million dollars. In diamonds. Done. Say goodbye to your mother before you leave. I want to see my painting. Five hundred years old. And it ends up with you. So how does it make you feel? That's the first thing I ask myself when I look at a painting. How does it feel to be corrupted? 
questions, usually the last question I ask. You may think Brooklyn is far from here, but it's not. There is no hiding from me. So take your diamonds. You've been corrupted. Balanson's forgery now hangs in the academia. And tonight, and today, Orasi, I will trade the original for diamonds. Perhaps I'm crazy.